Hey everyone, it's Aviation Buff, and welcome to another one of my aviation history videos. Before we begin today, please check out warbirdbunker.com for cool warbird and aviation merchandise. The link is in the description. Thank you to everyone watching my videos, and please like and subscribe to help save aviation history. And thank you to everyone out there. The United States Air Force is made up of many different commands. There are major commands and smaller commands throughout the United States Air Force. Each command has like a specific job or a region they take care of and administrate. And today we're going to talk about, I think, one of the most forgotten uh, substantial uh, air commands uh, in the Air Force, and that is the Alaskan Air Command. Uh, Alaska Air Command was active from 1947 and 1990. Its headquarters was at Elmendorf Air Force Base in Anchorage, Alaska. Now, uh, Alaskan Air Command was closely tied with Strategic Air Command, and Alaska was very important because it was a forward area very close to the Russian front. And, uh, you know, back in the, during the Cold War, uh, we had a lot of def defenses building up to protect our country from uh, Russian bombers that would most likely come over the Arctic uh, Circle into over Canada into the United States to attack our country and a lot of uh, money equipment and time and manpower was spent trying to bolster our defenses uh, against uh, enemy attack from the Arctic region and uh, places like Alaska and Greenland we spent a lot of uh, time with aircraft movement and supplies to uh, bolster those forward area positions that would uh, be able to intercept Russian aircraft or enemy air aircraft and bombers uh, real quick. Because the Alaska Air Command was pretty much in charge of the Air Force units in Alaska. Alaska Air Command, Elmendorf was the headquarters for Alaskan Air Command in uh, Anchorage, Alaska. And again, uh, Alaskan Air Command was active from 1947 until 1990. And it was a very big player during the Cold War would have been the first form of defense for intercepting uh, enemy aircraft and bombers coming over to attack the United States. It was part of the uh, Continental Air Defense System that was going, being put up during the Cold War. And I, I picture uh, the Alaskan Air Command, a cold uh, job, a cold, wintry uh, climate. Uh, that uh, is my picture. And you will see a lot of aircraft pictures during the Cold War of aircraft based in Alaska and you always see snow in the background and it was uh, maybe not everyone's favorite place to be based at, stationed at, but uh, there were some really interesting aircraft that operated in Alaska and to Alaska and I think one of the most uh, uh, thing uh, we remember about Alaska is in the movie Strategic Air Command when Jimmy Stewart took his first uh, check ride on the B-36. They flew from uh, Carswell Air Force Base in Fort Worth, Texas to Alaska and they turned uh, back from Alaska there. So that's just, uh, just when I think of Alaska Air Command and the Alaska during the Cold War, I picture all these aircraft movements that were going from the mainland United States up to Alaska and back and nonstop. There was a lot of air aircraft activity going on. There was a lot of reconnaissance missions uh, being flown out of Alaska. A lot of fighter interceptor squadrons based in Alaska because uh, uh, it was very important that that forward uh, uh, area would be one of the, would be the first uh, locations that would have been able to intercept uh, enemy aircraft coming over the uh, Arctic Circle there. And uh, there was uh, dozens of uh, radar stations, uh, sites around Alaska, part of the uh, uh, dew line. And uh, I, yeah, again, I just picture all these aircraft movements of uh, great Cold War American aircraft back in the day. A lot of activity was going on in Alaska, uh, something we I don't think could understand or appreciate today the amounts the amount of uh, aircraft activity that used to go on during the Cold War, and especially 
in and around Alaska. A lot of activity was going on back then, and not just uh, the main uh, bombers flying there and fighters, but all. Uh, this is where the cargo aircraft was really important for Alaska, because you know Alaska is a very a wilderness area. Not a lot of roads. It's 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 it was it's all nature and so transport aircraft were really important for the La the Alaskan area to transport good and personnel to very remote locations. And aircraft like the C one twenty four Globemaster was a very important aircraft in Alaska that flew supplies to many obscure uh, airfields throughout Alaska. And uh, uh, there was also uh, you know, like, you know, B-36s were flying to Alaska and back, uh, predating to the uh, chrome dome missions of the B-52s that flew over Greenland. But yeah, a lot of that was going on. And uh, I, I just, I, it's just a fascinating piece of aviation history just to think about all the different types of American uh, military aircraft that used to operate in and out of Alaska all the time during the Cold War. Uh, a lot of those aircraft are gone now. Uh, but I think Alaska Air Command is one of the most forgotten uh, major commands of the United States Air Force. It it's just uh, was part of the Cold War, and it was a very important uh, uh, operation. And uh, unfortunately, uh, after Alaskan Air Command was uh, disbanded in 1990, I guess most of the assets and uh, material and men were formed with the uh, Pacific Air Command. Uh, but yes, the Air, Alaska Air Command, I think, is a really cool part of uh, Cold War history. The forgotten uh, command of the Cold War, and it was a very, very big, important command uh, that I think we forget today. Thank everyone for watching my video. I really appreciate it. And until next time, talk to you later. Bye.